Google doesn't care where your pizza is from or how much better it is than your competition. It only cares about where you're located. That's the reason why so many business owners can't see themselves appear even when they're standing in the middle of their own business. And this is what most business owners get wrong about being or trying to be first on Google. They think it's a lottery, that that's the only way you can come up as if it was luck. But that's simply not the case. Let me show you an example. Yesterday, I'm having lunch at a local pizzeria, and while he was warming up my slice, I decided to do what most people do, right? Browse the internet on my phone. And the way I do it is, I like to look and see where I'm at and how they're showing up, because I'm always interested to see if they're doing the very best they can to attract new business. I'm already there. How will new people find them? So there I am at the restaurant, and they're coming up eighth. Eight of all listings, they came up at the very bottom. That would be about page two, possibly three. Mind you, I'm standing in the middle of the restaurant. They really should be number one on my phone. Needless to say, I needed to find out why. After one look at the menu, it was so clearly obvious. The menu had nothing to say about the location. They were talking about being south of South Jersey's best pizza, all about Jersey, Jersey, Jersey. But what about Sarasota? Where was a transition to the best Jersey pizza in Sarasota, right here in Gulfgate, or located right here in Gulfgate, Sarasota, or Sarasota, the Gulfgate area? Whichever way you want to put that in, it needs to appear on the menu as well as on the website more than anything. There was so much information about how good the pizza is, about the sauce, about everything that was not relating to the location. Because let's face it, Google Local is about having you appear in front of people that are looking to dine or visit that area. It's the modern version of the yellowpages.com or the directory, right? This is live, it's real time, and it connects with where you are at that moment. You need to do everything you can so if somebody's in the Gulf Gate area looking for a pizza that you appear over your competition. So while it's good to put information in here about your pizza and why it's so good and why it's better than the others, remember, Google doesn't care about how good your pizza is or how you compare to the others. It only cares about your proximity and making sure that it's showing the shops that are closest to you, the end user. That's what Google was built on. I'd like to share an example with one of our clients. He's a dentist here in town many, many years, over 30. And I started helping him with his digital because I was very frustrated that he wasn't appearing as well as he could. I took it for an example of a location, say, Lido Beach, Florida. That's a good 11 miles from where he is. And I, my goal was to show him that I could get him to appear in Lido Beach. All right, so we get to work, my team and I, and we put together our strategies. And next thing you know, lo and behold, about 12 days later, he's showing up under Lido Beach. You can see it right here. That's him. The question really is, what about the people that are in downtown Sarasota, which is about two miles just over the bridge, and you're at Lido? Why aren't they showing up? Do you realize that most of them think it's just the magic of Google. It's just luck. Maybe it'll happen next time. I don't know why Google does that, but but yet when people come to them and speak to them about helping them with their SEO, oh, we're fine. We don't need any help. We're good. It drives me insane when people tell me that they're good and I'm calling them for a reason. I already know that they could be doing better. So when they say they're good, it hurts me to, to I don't know how to approach them because I'm showing them that this is a pain point and they don't want to address it. However, if they did, we can get them past that. You see, the other problem in these industry is many people it's an overused term right seo search engine optimization so many people overuse it very few people know how to truly get the results that you're looking at on your screen right now this is the best way to prove your worth you go up you search Lido beach cosmetic dentistry or cosmetic dentist in Lido beach and you see what the, the results are on. You know, the results can't lie. That's what's showing up. So when somebody's in Lido and they want to look for a dentist or somebody that does cosmetic surgery and cosmetic work, they're going to drive the 11 miles to get to somebody. Most Many people will go to a, a, an hour away to get dental work done. It's very, very important. So we not only did that, but we, did the, we, we got him to appear all over Sarasota. Needless to say, his phone is ringing now. And that's all we can ask for. We don't know how many they're closing. We don't know how many sales they're getting. Our job as digital strategists is to get that phone to ring. We have another client coming up here that we're doing. He's a remodeler for bathrooms and kitchens and so forth. And he's got many different areas of his website. So we actually put different sets of code so we can tell when an 
link comes in from here or a click comes in from there, where it's going, what people are doing. We can give you as much or as little as you like. Now that client is on our SEO program with pay-per-click. You see, paid advertising is the same as local organic advertising, just two different approaches. Paid is the easiest. You can snap your fingers and show up. But to be in the right place at the right time to get the best results, you really have to know what you're doing. If you go over to organic, you have to get all your homework done. If it meets Google's criteria, Strickland is the result that you're looking at right here. So that's how it's done. Now you understand. So let's go back to the pizzeria that I was standing at. And Google's like, this is what we see in your area. And where I was, was not registering with Google. And now that you've heard me explain to you how SEO works, I think you can understand why too. From the menu to the website, it's all about South Jersey, great pizza, and not enough or anything hardly about Gulfgate except the address. Just remember, when you prioritize Google, Google prioritizes you. It's a computer. It's it's not a real person. It doesn't understand what you're meaning. It only understands what you're giving it. Put in the right stuff, you'll get out the right results. If you have questions, by all means, please call me. Send me a message. We'll be happy to give you a consultation for free. Let's look and see what it is that can be done better so you can make the most out of this opportunity. And another thing, too, is when you work with an agency like ours, we only work with one company in a market. So Dr. Strickland is the dentist. We don't work with any other dentist. If we're working with pizza or different businesses, there are little modifications there. But for the most part, we let our clients know just how far we're going to go. We don't necessarily want to be working with one flower shop in another flower shop right down the street. It's important that our customers are number one and there's only room for one at number one. Contact me if you have any questions and thanks for watching.